Hi everyone, greeting from Ponce One. So today's video is gonna be something more personal. So I'm gonna talk about the challenge that I have gone through and going through every time when I travel overseas as a lab person. I mean, traveling should be fun and enjoyable, right? I mean, sometimes I get it that it can be frustrating, but honestly, for the past six, seven years of traveling within this region and in European countries, I see nothing else is more frustrating than having a weak passport. Lao passport is one of the weakest in the world. According to Passport Index, out of 195 countries, Lao passport is ranked on the number 93rd, which means we can get access to only 50 countries visa-free and visa arrivals. 21 countries are visa-free and 10 of those are ASEAN members. And the rest, I have to get visa beforehand. And you can imagine how challenging it can be sometimes, right? So out of this region, out of Southeast Asia, almost every country that I've been to, people have no idea where I came from. They have no idea where Laos is. For example, Nepal. I mean, I have been to Nepal two times. The second time, while I was trying to leave the country back to Thailand, at the airport when I was trying to check in, I had to wait at the counter and standing there for almost an hour because the staff, two staffs, had no idea, you know, where Laos is. They even asked me, is Laos in the Philippines? Is Laos in China? And they were trying to justify whether or not I need to be for Thailand, even though I keep telling them that we are you know, part of ASEAN members, so we don't need the visa. And it is such a hassle, and in the end I asked them to call the Thai embassy in Kathmandu, which they did, and yeah, I finally got through. So you see something like this is really frustrating me sometimes. I mean, I used to be happy, you know, when people have no idea where I came from. I was like, yo, you know, I'm from a country where nobody knows, so I'm one of a kind. But then I have to deal with, you know, this problem every time at the immigration, and it kind of frustrating me out. And not just that, nine months ago when I was in Bangkok, I was trying to extend my visa and there was me, the British bloke and a girl from Australia. So three of us, we stayed in the same hostel and we went to immigration together. The moment I got in and right after she saw my passport, she just put it on the side and the two others got in right away without having a problem. And after that, she called me in and she told me that in order to extend my passport, I have to go to the Lao Embassy to get the special paper, the permission. I mean, I understand she's trying to do her job because there are a lot of Lao people working in Thailand illegally, so she's probably thinking that I might doing the same thing, which I'm not. So out of the three, I was the one who works the hardest. So what I did is that I had to hire a taxi to the Lao Embassy only to get there. It was a little bit too late, the embassy already closed. The next morning, I went back and get the paper and, you know, brought it to the immigration and had my visa extended. You see, even with this, I have to deal with the hassle. Can you imagine going to European countries? I mean, I've been to Europe three times. Uh, first time was 2018, and then this was in Belgium, France, Switzerland, the Netherlands, and Germany. Uh, but then the other two times were in the UK. Um, so every time in order to get the visa, I have to provide a lot of documents. And the first thing that they need the most is my sponsor. So I have to know somebody there. Uh, and that person, so-called sponsor, has to write an invitation letter and, and send it to me so I can bring it to the embassy. In that letter, it has to contain their address, their phone number, email, where they work, with signature of their boss, pay slips, you know, how much money comes into the account every month, and even tax paper, you know, if they pay tax or not. And my part, I have to show my bank statement, I have to show my property, I have to write the cover letter that explains the whole itinerary, when I'm gonna get there, what I'm gonna do, and when I expect to leave the country, and have to get the return ticket, I have to get the trial insurance, I have to get my family book, my ID card, everything translated into English, so no Lao. Two days ago, I was in Vientiane for my visa application. Again, it's gonna be for the UK. If I get it, it's gonna be my third time in the UK. And these are documents that requested by the embassy, you see? It's a lot. This, you know, took me 
more than four weeks to prepare and everything has to translate into English. And can you imagine for those who don't speak English, they have to hire people to translate all the, this document for them? It's going to cost a lot of money. I mean, because I speak English, this doesn't cost me anything. I translated all the, my, by myself, just have to print them. That's all. Back in 2018, when I first came to Europe, I had my family book, my ID card, and my business uh, paper translate with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and that cost me $80 for those three documents. And can you imagine to have to translate with all this? So yeah, it's not just about getting the paper, but it involves with extra expenses, and it's a lot of money. And coming from a country like Laos, where we earn so less money, I mean, $80, that's almost, you know, average salary, the whole month's salary. And the visa itself is really expensive. For the UK, I paid $126, and then the appointment fee is $80. So there you go. So yeah, this is what I have to go through in order to travel. I hope you don't complain about your passport. I mean, if you're from European countries or a country like Japan, South Korea, and Singapore, these three are the top, you know, the strongest passport in the world. They can get access to almost every country in the whole world without getting any visa, which is very good. But that's not gonna stop me from traveling seriously because I love it so much. So yeah, as hard as it is, I will do it. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs>